a professor in my university gave me a ride. This was 1977. And when I was in the University of Lagos, I was going to the main campus where my lectures were taking place from the College of Education, if you're familiar with the University of Lagos. So I waved him down, and he opened the door. I entered in. He was the only one driving. As soon as he began to move, I began to share the gospel with him. I gave him a track. I always carry a track. He collected it grudgingly. And then, after I spoke for about two minutes, he said, wait, are you a student? I said, yes, sir. Which department? I said, land and engineering survey. Ah, I said, that's fine. I said, is it? I didn't know. He was a professor. He said, what is the shape of the earth? Esu. Esu, what's the shape of the earth? I said, the shape of the earth is elliptical. That week, that was what we were taught in my survey class. And I gave him the formula. He said, order, order, right. He said, you assume, when you talk about heaven, your heaven, you point up. And you told me you, the earth is round. I said, sure, sir. He said, on the other side of the globe, they are all pointing upward. Is on the opposite direction to your own pointing. Ah. Now, I knew I was in trouble. He said, tell me, if your heaven is like this, what is the geographical direction of hell? He said, remember, if you point like this, that is the heavenward point or some other one. I was praying, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. So I said, excuse me, sir. God forbid it will not happen to you. If you die without Christ, the next minute, you will not know just the geographical direction of hell. You will know the exact location of hell. Because hell is at the end of a life without Christ. The man parked the car. He said, get out of my car. You. <laughs> I got to know later, he's a child of a prominent Baptist pastor. He went to America and studied in the University of Alabama. And he suffered. He went to church with great enthusiasm. When he got to church, they didn't allow him to mix with the white. They segregated him to the back. And he got out of church and vowed never to do anything with church. He said, the church that my father served all his life. Now, they wouldn't let me mix. He said, I renounced Christianity. And he became an atheist. I didn't know. I was preaching to him that at the end of a life without Christ is the exact location of hell. Later on, a few years ago, two years ago, he died. But he didn't die as an unbeliever. I was preaching for, as we had the boy at the redemption camp. He saw me on the giant screen and he found a way to locate me. He said, Bishop, can you recognize me? I said, I know you very well. You are Professor Susan. So. He's a professor of sociology. He was. He now recounted the experience of 1977. He said, What I said troubled him every single day that hell is at the end of a land without Christ until he gave his life to Christ. He said, I am now an assistant pastor in Redeemed Christian Church of God. So I hugged him. I hugged him. I hugged him. The Lord delivered his soul so he would not be a loss. The greatest loss is the loss of any soul. <laughs>